So uh, I got all these parts here cleaned and uh, ready to put back together. Um, I did clean the spider gears here. Um, now if you do need the spider gears, the uh, part number is 5382X. You can see their uh, differential output gear, spider gears, um, and it comes with this entire thing here. Um, now if you do take this apart, <clears throat> these end pieces here, on one end, they are beveled. Um, they're like smooth as they go inwards. Let's see if I can kind of focus that in there. Come on. Um, that's more of a sharp edge, and then there's more of a rounded edge. That goes inside, okay? So, and it's a little easier if you go ahead and put some grease on this because it helps hold it together. If not, these things, it, they just want to keep falling apart. So, uh, like I said, there's two of these here, um, these pieces, and remember, make sure that you keep that little rubber O-ring on there. See it there, the damn camera to focus in. Um, so there's a little little rubber O-ring, and that piece, I've already stuck it in there and stuck some grease in there, just plops right in there. And then you want to take your spider gears here. All put together and uh, you'll see these are smaller on either end and these sides are bigger so obviously the smaller ones go there and then you just want to kind of line these up like so and this thing will push right down inside here Pull that down. Just make sure these are all straight. What the fuck is going on here? Let's push that around there. There we go. There it goes. So, kind of push this down in there like that. Don't force it in there. I mean, you have to push it a little bit, but you don't want to have to force it. And as you can see, it spins nice and free, okay? Then, go ahead and take your gasket here and uh, put your gasket on here, like so. Um, there's little holes in the gasket there. Put the gasket on. Now we're going to take our new parts here okay here's the new one there like I said before bushing goes in just like that okay so now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with some grease here. Get that out of the way. Just kind of top that off there. And we can get a little messy, but it don't matter. So, go ahead and put that in there. that in there like so now the smaller skinnier screws will go it's kind of hard to do this and try to get it in camera angle at the same time so just put some I'll just do it this way for right now. Okay. So like so. And then you want to line up your screw holes here.
I wouldn't recommend doing this with a drill. Um, I do have a drill. I use it sometimes just to take take the parts off, um, but I will not use the drill to put them on because you risk stripping out the plastic and you see how the grease will start coming out. That's perfectly fine. You want that all nice and greased inside there. I'll go ahead and take a little paper napkin here and kind of wipe that up a little bit. And then go ahead and put your next two in. Like I said, it is a little hard to do this and get it in the camera angle. Um, but this this is this is really fast here, really fast process. Um, okay, now don't don't tighten them so tight that you strip it out. Um, you don't want to have to strip out. You don't want to strip out a little cup there or you're going to have to go back down to your hobby store and get some. And then go ahead and just kind of turn that there and make sure it turns nice and smooth. See? Nice and smooth. Okay. Next thing, go ahead and take your end here, your new bearings. Drop them down inside there. Push it down in there, make sure it's flush, there's nothing inside there, <clears throat> like that, okay? Now, shimming the diff, a lot of people don't understand what this means. Get yourself some shims, preferably the same size as your bearing there, is what you're going to do, is you're going to take your shim, <clears throat> and you're going to put it on here like so. Now I already got that bearing inside there. Now I'm going to push that down in there. Okay. Now what that does, this sits inside here. Okay. Now what that does is that brings this gear up a little bit so it meshes together a lot better to prevent these from stripping out. Okay. So go ahead and get this back in here this back together and what I like to use inside for this gear here is I just use some just cheap petroleum jelly for this here and it works perfectly fine just kind of put it around here I know, this is messy. You can wear gloves if you want, if you have girl hands. Um, no, I'm just kidding. But uh, you can wear gloves. It, it, it is a little messy, but I don't mind getting a little dirty. So, just go ahead and put some inside here, too. Just a little bit in there. And uh, then go ahead and put your bearings on. There's one. There's two. Just kind of put it in there. Okay. Now, this sits here. Like so. Okay. Now, you can put, as you've seen, I put the shim inside there. You can put, I've seen um, some people say they've put as much as three in there. Um, I've never put three. I've only had to use one. And uh, so is what I'm going to do is there's four, there's four screws that go in here. So I'm going to put one in each corner and uh, tighten it down here and turn the end of this and see if it binds up too much. If it binds up too much, then you need a thinner shim. Um, you can always just start out with two shims if you want, and uh, if it binds up too much, take one out. Um, don't matter. But I've found the shims that I use, they're 
um, my hobby store has them. I don't know what they are. I just um, pick some up, and uh, <clears throat> I found out that the ones that he has there work perfectly fine with just one. So go ahead and pop your little piece on there, and as you can see there, that's too tight. Hear that? So, we're going to take that shim back out, um, try to keep this video down to a minimum. So, I'm going to go ahead and take that shim back out and try a smaller shim and uh, be back with you and let you know what's what happens. Okay, guys, so uh, all I needed to do was just uh, put a smaller, a thinner shim in there. Um, that one was just a little too thick. Um, the shims, uh, Team Associated has a pretty pretty good uh, variety one. Um you can just try them out and, uh, you know, just try different ones out. Uh, you don't want the gear mesh, like, extremely tight. Uh, and uh, you want it to spin nice and freely. So, let me get this last screw in here. Um, don't tighten those up really, really tight. So, uh, just go ahead and pop that on there. And that is nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Very smooth. Um, it'll be a little tight, um, but you don't want it like to where it's like, you know, like extremely tight. You want it to spin nice and freely. So uh, that's it, guys. Sorry for the long video. Um, one more piece of advice uh, when you're putting back in this uh, this diff. Um, I've seen tons of people put these things in, and their front tires will go forward, and their rear tires will go in reverse. So here's the diff here. Uh, of course, this is the back. Let's go into the front. Read on the back of the diff. It'll tell you right there. It says up Revo. Make sure when you put this back in, it goes like this. You want to be able to read that. That's where it says up Revo. If you put it the other way, the car will go, the rear wheels will go in reverse and the front wheels will go forward or vice versa. So, uh, there you go, guys. Um, sorry for the long video. I appreciate you watching. Um, just wanted to kind of get it in detail to uh, those of you who, who haven't done this. Um, any questions or anything, go ahead and leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer them, uh, give you a hand. Um, comments, anything like that, just uh, leave them, I'm, uh, and I will get back to you. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to leave it at that, and please comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, I will have more videos up of various things. And uh, take care. Remember, always have fun, you guys.